coffee shop in a telephone box. What's this all about? Uh, it's, I don't know. People have been asking me this all day. Um, it all started when I kind of left school with just my GCSEs and I didn't really know what I wanted to do in my life so I just went and got a job straight away. Um, but I knew I always wanted to be self-employed uh, and it kind of just went from there. I was walking through town one day, I live in the jewellery quarter, I was walking through town, saw that they were up to rent, contacted the company um, and then just yeah, went from there, called them, said oh what's it all about, what can I do with them, and they suggested the coffee idea and I thought that's a really good idea because I do like coffee, that is a really good idea so let's just let's go from there. And so it's your first day of opening today. How's it going? It's been <laughs> interesting. It's been no one will come and then all of a sudden a million people will turn up at once. It's been so crazy. But yeah, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. People have really had really responded well to it. So what has the response been like? What are people saying? People just think it's mental. People just see it, you know, it's a British icon and they would have went to waste of always. Um, so this is a good way to sort of recycle, recycle it and don't let it go to waste. And is there any other concept like this? Have you heard of any other concept um, like this? There is one in Brighton. I did mm. go down there two weeks ago, but he's got two. Um, whereas this is one. So this is officially Britain's smallest coffee shop. Officially. Officially. Yeah. And how does that make you feel? Proud. Yeah, why not? <laughs> and so what are you know your future plans? Are you gonna keep this open for a long time? Uh, it's got three at least and um, there is four more along this road. I would log all of them. I would definitely log all of them eventually, but we'll see. We'll see. You're gonna see how today goes and then yeah, hopefully yeah. I don't wanna jump in the deep end just yet, we'll just see how today goes. And what have you got on offer here at the shop? Uh, right, and we've got all these espresso based products, so we've got your lattes, your cappuccinos. Food, I've sourced some fantastic sausage rolls from this farm in Shropshire. Um, there's even a great vegetarian option, like a vegetarian, not sausage roll, but it's like spinach and Bombay potatoes, it's brilliant. Um, and yeah, some pastries, so got some cold drinks, gonna have some hot chocolate on sale, gonna have lots of seasonal products. It's right with the German market, so we'll see how it goes, see how it goes. And what do you think this initiative brings to the region itself? This is great because I always say every time I go to Brighton, every time I go to London, it's full of independence, it's like full of really crazy stuff. And I thought Birmingham doesn't lack necessarily independence, but there's not as many and there's definitely room for a lot more. So this is why, that is another one of the reasons why I wanted to do this.